morning, everyone. Uh, good afternoon, uh, or wherever you are, and uh, welcome to the session. Um, this is like session W2, wearable devices and assistive robotics. I am Khaled Gohar uh, from the University of Lincoln, United Kingdom. Uh, we have three presentation today, uh, paper one, eight, and 23. Uh, we have like even like a smaller number of papers, but uh, um, from the topics, it seems very interesting. So I would like to welcome you all to the session, and uh, I would like to welcome the presenters of paper number one, evaluation method of gait motion of a patient received total knee arthroplasty using correlation between measurement data and evaluation score. Are there any of the presenters here, of the authors here, please? Paper one. Okay. Are there any uh -huh. of the authors of the paper Let's one? Yeah, so welcome, Dr. Koji Makino. Thank you. Thank you for introducing. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes, please start. Yeah. Okay. I talk about the evaluation method of the gate motion. And uh, our team uh, consists of engineer and uh, medical professional persons. Introduction. And one of the reasons of the building of the elderly person is disorder of the leg. To prevent it, they are often given a surgery of a hip joint, knee joint, lumbar joint, and etc. Especially, THA is a surgical operation to replace the hip joint to a physical joint, like this figure. And THA is performed over 30,000 in Japan every year. The patient should receive the rehabilitation for walking. So we developed the walking wearable assist robot for rehabilitation, like this figure. And uh, the first model is sold and uh, is used in the hospital. To perform the effective uh, rehabilitation, it's important to evaluate the condition of the gait motion of the patient property. In the hospital, physical therapist often analyze and uh, evaluate the condition of the patient based on the implicit knowledge. Therefore, it's difficult to evaluate the gait motion. So our objective is that the evaluation method of the gait motion of the patient that receives uh, uh, surgery of THA is proposed based on the implicit knowledge of the physical therapist. First, to consider the implicit knowledge of the physical therapist, the evaluation using the numerical score is introduced. And second, some position at the leg and the feet are uh, measured to evaluate the condition. Finally, the relation between the gait motion and the period of the hospitalization is investigated. First, I show the evaluation method in the hospital. There are two methods to evaluate the gait motion. One is the quantitative method. And the effectiveness is often measured by a 10 meter walking test like this figure. In this test, the number of steps and the interval time are measured. The walking ability can be measured in this test. However, the condition of the patient is not uh, suitable. 
The other is the qualitative method. It's often evaluated by observation of the motion like this figure. In this study, we focus on the qualitative method. To evaluate the observation, we introduce the scoring that consists of eight items. And the eight items are decided by the discussion of the doctor and the physical therapist, like this figure. And the score of seven means the patient obtains a working ability that is enough to discharge from the hospital. And the physical therapist evaluates each item subjectively. I show the score of three patients. Horizontal axis means the uh, item and the vertical axis is the score. The score is evaluated before the study, blue bar, one week later, green bar, two week later, red bar, and three day week later, red bar. And I focus on the uh, blue arrows, for example, two step lengths of uh, patient A and uh, patient C, like this figure. The score on the one week later after the surgery become lower than the score before the surgery temporarily. After that, the score uh, become higher, like this figure, if the days are past. So we think that the evaluation by the physical therapist express the condition of the patients. Next, I show the evaluation by the camera images. We think that the condition can be evaluated using the movie camera image because the physical therapist observes the gait motion of the patient and evaluates the condition. Left figure shows the patient with LED markers, walks on the flat floor using walking caster. And the right figure shows the eight camera are used to calculate the position of the markers. And I show the measurement motion of the pelvis. The physical therapy suggests that the motions of the pelvis are related with the condition of the gait motion. So we measure the, the four kinds of motion, lateral movement, and declination, horizontal fluctuation, longitudinal inclination. And I show the measurement motion of your leg. The physical therapist often may address two kinds of the leg motion, flexion, extension, and the ADD and the ABD. And I show some example of the measurement results. This figure shows the time sequence data of the angle of this motion after one week later and three week later. The angles are approximate at 20 degrees and 60 degrees of longitudinal inclination. And this graph shows the angle of the extension of each leg after one week later and three weeks later. The angle of uh, uh, the angle are about uh, 25 degrees and 28 degrees. I show all measurement data of angle of each motion. In the desirable point, in the desirable trend, the measurement value increase if a week is passed like this uh, graph. However, almost items are not corresponding with the desirable trend. So it's clear that 
the condition of the gate motion cannot be expressed by only one item. And that the physical therapist uh, variates it using combination of some data. Therefore, I calculate all correlation coefficient between the measurement values by the camera image and the evaluation scores by physical therapist. The pink cell means uh, very strong correlation. So we focus on three motion like this figure because there are many pink cells and I calculate the average value like this figure. And I use this uh, average value and the motion data to evaluate the condition in the next slide. I have the measurement value of the three items like this figure and uh, I average these values like uh, this figure. All the values are almost the same. The condition of the patient cannot be evaluated by, the, by this graph. So I calculate multiplication between the, each item and the average correlation coefficient. And the, so these graphs are converted to below graph. For example, in left graph, the positive body are converted to negative body because the minus body times each value. And I also calculate the uh, average of these uh, values, like this figure. <clears throat> and finally, <clears throat> I compare the average values of the gate measurement with the result of the three items. The left figure, and the result not using correlation coefficient. The values are not changed like this figure. And ABC uh, means uh, patient A, patient B, patient C, and 0, 1, 2 uh, means uh, uh, weeks uh, passed after the surgery. On the other hand, uh, in right figure, the result using correlation coefficient and the values are increased if uh, the weeks are passed. So we confirmed that the multiplication between the measurement data and the correlation coefficient is useful to evaluate of the condition of the gate motion. Finally, conclusion. This paper describes the relation between the measurement of the gate motion and the evaluation score and uh, propose a new evaluation method using correlation coefficient. And first, the evaluation of the gate motion is shown, and second, the measurement system is, is described. and. Uh, that all correlation coefficients are considered. As a result, we confirm that multiplication is useful. And in the future work, the results based on the increased knowledge may be applied for the realization of the natural motion of the human robot or the wearable robot, because unnatural motion can be uh, evaluated. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Mecanio, for uh, the nice presentation. We have uh, two minutes and a half for any questions. Any questions from the attendees, please? I have one question. Uh, thank you, Professor, again. Uh, just Can you just elaborate more how many patients have been uh, selected in this study? And how, what is the methodology of selected, uh, selecting the patient, please? Okay, thank you. Wait a moment. Uh, 
I should uh, uh, thrive. Sorry. Uh, oh, the Okay. Uh, <clears throat> well, we select the uh, three patient. Uh, 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 I have no reason the three patient is so. Uh, first three patient are uh, selected. Uh, the, as uh, other patients are not uh, uh, tested by the COVID-19. Uh, uh, so uh, in the future one, uh, we measure the uh, uh, more patient data. All right. Thanks a lot, Lily. Thank you. This is interesting. Yeah, thanks again for uh, the presentation. Uh, appreciate it.